now a rock music legend who has grown into a successful solo career. Jeffrey Brown has the latest from the singer Robert Plant. <laughs> He was the quintessential hard rock frontman in what was for a time the biggest hard rock band on the planet. Robert Plant, lead singer of Led Zeppelin. Long hair, bare chest, tight pants, howling his way through albums and arenas with guitarist Jimmy Page, who put the band together in 1968, bass player John Paul Jones, and drummer John Bonham. Those bands in those days, you know, barely out of my teens, and the guys I was playing with were the most amazing players. And it was all about energy, mm. all about expression. Garish sometimes. Yeah, yeah. In that environment then, everything was so exaggerated, but it lasted just as long as it lasted. Yeah. And then it, for me, it just dissolved. So if it was all about energy then, what is it, what is it about now? Same thing, but it's, it's bridled, it's contained more. It's a good place to go, and it's a bit of a surprise. I think I've gone on strike for a while now, actually. Really? At 69, yeah. meeting us oh recently at None Such Records in New York, Plant is a rock icon who's content with how things have turned out, other than being scored on in foosball. Oh. Beaten at soccer by an American, that can't be right. Zeppelin disbanded in 1980, and Plant had a first solo hit three years later with Big Log. But while some rock stars keep playing the same old songs in the same old ways, Plant slowly built a much admired solo career by experimenting with different sounds and different musicians. And if you change your way, baby, you might get back to stay, baby. You better hurry up. Most notably, his 2007 collaboration with bluegrass country star Alison Krauss. Come on, come on. Raising Sand, an unlikely meld of styles and voices, was a surprise hit, winning five Grammys, including Album of the Year. The songs were really delicate but intense, and the whole idea of a room all heading to one point to make, get the most out of a song, to get the most out of every lyric so that a syllable can hang in midair for a while, and that was a particularly uh, sensual collection of songs and performance. His 11th solo effort, Carry Fire, is a new album of original songs, backed by his band of recent years, the sensational Space Shifter. When you put out an album nowadays, what compels it? What does there have to be for you to say, I've got something new? Well. There's a lot of preparation, and there's a lot of, uh, I guess you would probably call it uh, soul searching, to make sure, with time being so precious, that it's not a wasted journey. But mm. what constitutes an unwasted journey for you nowadays? Uh, weaving, the, the musical weave in the beginning, mm -hmm. the groove and the kind of, uh, the, the essence of the music that surrounds the songs. But just being able to get to a place where the music is paramount it's discreet, slightly exotic. With the Space Shifters, here on the PBS program Austin City Limits last year, Plant has incorporated Zeppelin hits like Black Dog in new forms. Hey, mama, says the way you move, make you sweat, I'm gonna make you cool. And he continues and expands the Zeppelin blend of blues, English ballads, and world music, including on the title track of the new album, which features the Middle Eastern instrument, the oud. I asked about the sounds and influences. They just come from a fortunate life traveling and keeping very good company. I was always gathering more and more fuel. I was buying cassettes in the marketplaces and listening to variations on themes and uh, just a, such an amazing encyclopedia of music I developed slowly. 
The question Plant is asked most often is the one he seems least interested in. When will Led Zeppelin get together again? The three surviving members last performed together in 2007, but no encores are planned. I asked Plant about the key to the band's enduring success. I don't know. We didn't know. It's, you may think it's naive, because now so much of entertainment is pretty structured. You know, the game is the game. Yeah. Here we are. We didn't know what on earth we were doing. We were just doing gigs, and the gigs got bigger, and the crowds got bigger, and we had more fun. But to be the guy at the sharp end, what I call it, as a singer, it was a bit of a labor, it was a bit of a toil. Was it a performance or was that you? I think it was me responding to music, uh -huh. just like it is right now. Um, I don't wear a girl's blouse anymore, you know, <laughs> but uh, I'm still desperately switched on to the music that surrounds me. So with Zeppelin, I think I was just playing it out. Interesting to see now. I just wonder how he felt at the end of the night, that guy, when I look at him. The guy who was you? Yeah. Really? Hmm. You don't know how he felt? I can't imagine. <laughs> Ask me a question. Where the, the difference now, Plant says, perspective and the freedom to go wherever his musical passions lead. Said, no, no, no. For the PBS NewsHour, I'm Jeffrey Brown in New York. No. I think it's all about being good and staying good.